Round two is called One Out of Three Ain't Bad. Uh, teams are told an obscure fact and are given three oh, yeah. possible answers. You have to tell me the correct answer. Miff, Brian and Denise, here is your fact. Film producer Harry Cohn initially rejected Frank Sinatra for the role of Private Maggio in From Here to Eternity. According to a BBC documentary, Sinatra won the gig in which unconventional way? A. Mobster friends of Frank put a decapitated horse's head in Cohn's bed. B. Sinatra offered Cohn a night with both Ava Gardner and Marilyn Monroe. C. Sinatra arranged a full orchestra and sang at Cohn's daughter's bat mitzvah. Mm. All right. Well, I'd look, I reckon A's a true story, but I don't know if it fits here. Mm. I've heard that one about the horse in the bed. I think the second one, uh, Ava Gardner and Marilyn Monroe, I think he was going out with Lara Bingle at the time. <laughs> so, I don't know about that. Where the bloody hell are you then? <laughs> I think Frank was a bit of a ladies' man. Yes, mm. yes. He clearly had Ava and Marilyn at different times, maybe at the same, I'm not too sure. Yes. Mm. I, I, whether or not he'd offer them up, I think that was a little oh, bit Oh, I think he wrong. would. Would he? I think he would. If you're going to get a gig in a film, yeah. you'd do that. You'd and offer up your women. for him? No, but they'd offer. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you reckon, Miff? We'll go with Ava and Marilyn. I reckon we'll go with B. The correct answer is A. Mobster oh. friends of Frank's put a decapitated oh. horse's head in Cone's bed. So to be honest, you probably don't need to say decapitated horse's head. No. <laughs> yeah. That's where the story... That's, that's in... the story that inspired the Godfather story. Okay. Yes, yeah. yes, oh. yes, yes. Frank Sinatra disputed it. He said it's never happened. And he won an Academy Award for it. He won an Academy Award. How many horses did he go through? Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, there's a lot there's of people that vote for the Academy Awards. <laughs> Horse population in California was decimated. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you, couldn't, you couldn't find a horse's head anywhere. No. You could find horses wandering <laughs> around thinking, I've got no idea where I'm going. And also, you've got to pick your movie. That like works chicken. from For Here to Eternity. If he had been auditioning from The Man from Snowy River, oh, he'd have yeah. never got exactly. <laughs> Oh, the horse whisperer, nothing to whisper into. <laughs> Whispering is going, I've got no head, you know. <laughs> what? 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 Alan, That's Nikki terrible. and Dave, here is your fact. Okay. How did Mexican harmonica player <laughs> Ramon Barrero die in 1994? Oh. Uh, a. He was shot attempting to cross the US-Mexican border whilst playing harmonica. <laughs> B. He inhaled the world's smallest harmonica mid-performance and choked to death. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be that one. Or C, he was electrocuted on stage whilst playing the world's first electric harmonica. Now, I'm going to say straight off the bat, A seems a bit ludicrous, but yeah. I think it could, it's got potential as the right answer. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people, you know, they cross at night illegally. Over the border. And it's, it's sort of like, you know, it's the desert. Yeah. And it's got, you know, and it's very like a it's, cowboy movie. Is it boring so you play your harmonica? Well, do no, you? no, no. What he was doing is providing a soundtrack. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he was giving a bit of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is my theory, though. He was electrocuted on stage whilst playing the electric harmonica. There's a lot of, like, saliva that would go into that thing and it might cause a bit of an electrocution. And a oh, what do you yes, think about when he was that? playing really it's loudly like, and spitting into it, yeah. all of a sudden yeah. it shorted out. Yes, yes. Yeah. And imagine people be going. That it, makes sense to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it does. Yeah. People yeah. be going, wow, he's an amazing dancer too. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and also, that's but why. That's now? why you never. I've read this. You <laughs> never <laughs> put an electric harmonica next to the bath. No, that's <laughs> right. Oh God, my but children are at home with but, one of them. But look, um, I, think, <laughs> I think you're probably right. But, but B, the yeah. thing, the problem with B is how would you know that he was dying? Because, I mean, the world's smallest harmonica mm. with nanotechnology would just be incredibly small. Yep. So, um, and he'd swallow it, yep. and you'd think he was still playing it. He'd yeah. be choking, but going, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> And you'd think, this is an interesting yeah. bit. And, he'd just, yes. and even the death rattle, people just go, well, that's lovely, that's yeah. beautiful. So breathy. Yeah. That would be the end of it. You can see. My heart says see, but it's probably oh. something ludicrous, so... My, yeah. heart, my heart says stop eating chips. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, well the, I'm going. I'm, I'm going no, yeah, I don't. We should not deny our hearts. I agree with. Uh, I agree with you um, and you about the chips yeah. thing as well. Yeah. Um, so we're going to say C. He was electrocuted on the stage whilst playing the world's first electric harmonica. The correct answer is Mexican harmonica player Ramon Barrero died in 1994 after he inhaled the world's <gasps> smallest what? harmonica mid-performance and choked to death. Oh my God! Oh, no. And I made all those jokes about I him, and know. he was killed. By him. <laughs> After that round, the scores haven't moved at all. Miff, Brian, Denise still on two points. Alan, Nikki, Dave, eight points. Good. Good.